Ward and Almy. Here we go! Kendall the Lion Ward in the red, green, and gold trunks. Gray trunks for Matt Almy making his bare knuckle debut. So Almy trying to use that in and out movement. First experience in the Trigon, I guess he's trying to, you know, get, get his bearings in there and yep. get a feel for the for the surface and whatnot, for, and just for the space he has. Good timing, though, with the uppercut, though. Good timing shot. Almy said his fight style, Paulie, is sniper. He's okay with brawling, but he likes the chess match. So, much to your point, let's see if he looks to set some things up early. Big counter and the left hook landed by Kendall Ward. Okay, Almy has been using a good jab, but one thing about doing that kind of fighter, you gotta know when to be in and when to be out. You have to have that instinct. Good shots there again by Almy. He's having some, a success with the uppercut. But you gotta have, also have a good instinct of when it's time to get in, when it's time to get out. And, and a few seconds back, he had stayed in there too long and the overstayed his welcome in the pocket. Yep. And Ward was able to hit with a couple shots himself. But so far, a, a good start for Almy. Starting with that, with that good jab, as I mentioned. I like that overstate is welcome. It's like don't take a picture yeah. while you're in there. You're gonna get countered. Yeah, and also don't get greedy with the combination. You know, take what what's there, and then if you stay too long trying to make the combination bigger, you will get a rece receiving back. It's not a punching bag. <laughs> it's a live guy who's hitting you back. You got that right. And with uh, some blood under the right eye, it may have been one of those Matt Almy jabs that you've talked about, Paul. Yeah, but even the uppercuts. I'll tell you what he's got. He's got Ward ducking down every time he uses that jab. Right and then he, uh, Almy meets him with a good uppercut. Back See right there again, the one was looking at the uh, When he saw that jab, he took it on the head, but Almy stepped back. Almy's last professional fight in MMA was September of 2021. So he's been away for a while, but man, he's come out and he looks sharp so far. Good, I'll tell you, man, good, good boxing on the part of Almy. Does maybe the self-assessment as a sniper, and he likes the chess match. And he's doing a lot of things. I've, I've had the honor and pleasure of working with you enough, Magic Man. He's doing a lot of the things that you talk about all the time. Setting it up, use the jab, use the feints, have some movement. He's doing it all right now, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, changing the angle, taking his time. And I'll see there's a feint right there. He's got, you know, and, and also when you, you're effective with your punches, the feints are even worse. The, the better the better the feints are more. And those uppercuts have done some real damage. When he's gotten inside, he's taken advantage of some good uppercuts. Looks very relaxed in there. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Fight scheduled for five three-minute rounds. So far, so good for Matt Almy. Again, you see the face. You see the face. Yeah, and what can't really find how he's going in and how he's coming out. He did some damage. Yeah, there you can see the cut. Everything's a cut. Yep. The jab or the uppercut was effective. And let's look at some of that action here. You see there, the, that was actually the return. That was actually the one good uh, moment Ward had in the round, actually, yeah. because that was the uh, overstay of the welcome, as I had called it, from Almy. But for the most part, it was Almy with a, a sharp jab over the course of the round. And uh, some very, very good uppercuts. I said the, 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 one, the one thing Ward did, right? Right, right. Instead of the, <laughs> the 30 things <laughs> that Almy did. Yep. <laughs> But I think it, it may have been that left that was countered by Kendall that cut him open. Round number two, Matt Almy in the gray trunks, Kendall Ward fighting for the second time inside the Trigon, representing Jamaica in the red, gold, and green trunks. Yeah, Almy's getting more confident. He's starting to stay in front of him with his hands down. This guy's been watching some boxers. Yes. <laughs> he's got some MMA background, but his footwork is is not really like a like a converted MMA guy that to, to comes to boxing. And if you ask Kendall Ward, he'll say he's an inside fighter, but there's nothing that's been inside so far in this battle. Oh, he wants to make it inside, though. Yep. Ward is trying to Ward is gonna have to try to press that issue and get on the inside, but 
Again, Almy's ability to change range is complicated a little bit. We see Ward trying to bite down a little bit and get in there, but it good. again, that jab, that jab of Almy keeps, keeps Ward honest. He went body, he went uppercut, and continues with the dirty boxing. Well, that's when the enemy does come with the point. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Nine professional MMA bouts for Matt Almy. Not a lot of MMA for Kendall Ward, but he had 10 professional boxing matches. And again, that jab is doing major damage. It's interesting, man. Almy is the one doing the, the better boxing. You know, the, the sharp jab. He's had the better jab, and a lot of times the better jab in a, in a tactical match, which has, this has been a tactical match in big spots, the guy with the better jab will have a big advantage. And Almy has had a very, a much, much more superior jab. And this is as he described it. This is the chess match that he likes. He likes to use his speed, his movement, his durability. Again, those feints, so those subtle feints as well. Yep. And they become more deadly. When you have a good jab, your feints are much more effective. Big shot with the right. Right in front of our broadcast position. And you see how Almi also knows when to get out right in time. To, again, not overstaying his welcome. He did it once, but for the most part in the fight, you see he gets in there, and he has a good sense of when it's time to step back out. Certainly, if you tuned in after we said this is his first ever bare knuckle fight, you wouldn't believe that this is Matt Almi's first ever bare knuckle battle because he looks spectacular. Combination. And one more. His body language is a, is, is a little bit more reluctant now. He got stuck in the ropes there. Yeah, he wasn't as, as, as enthusiastic about coming back over the ropes, you know? And that's been the only time that Kendall's been able to connect is on that counter with a hook. 20 seconds on the clock, round number two. Oh, oh. shot counter over the top of that jab. Wow, another good timing shot. I hadn't seen that yet from Almy. Showing us another wrinkle in his boxing. Absolutely. Counter, counter right hand over the top of a lazy jab from Ward. And another good round for Matt Almy. The action is starting the ninth. Well, absolutely, Paul. Green belt in Taekwondo, Muay Thai master, Kendall Ward to do any damage through two rounds against Matt Almy. You look at the face of Matt Almy, it's like he's not even in a fight yet. No question. He's been very, very responsible defensively, tactically, and of course offensively as well as you see the damage he's created all over uh, Kendall Ward. Started fighting in pro MMA in 2013. Doctor's going to check the cut under the eye of Kendall Ward. And he's good to go. Yeah, he, he, he didn't even think twice about it, man. Yeah. So how does Kendall change the storyline that we've seen so far, a dominant one from Matt Olme? Well, they say you don't hook with a hooker, you jab with a jab. He's got to be busy with the jab, and he's got to get into a little bit of rhythm with his head movement. You see the, you can kind of mirror what, what Almy's doing. Almy's doing a good, good head movement. He's using his legs as well, changing range. But at least if you want to get inside, you know, there, there's a, a, good, a good little hook there for, on the part of Ward. Now he's turning southpaw, actually. But you've got to at least control that jab, that jab battle. And here's why Ward is losing the jab battle. Because even when he throws that jab, he's reaching out with it, and he's just kind of stretching out with it. He's not actually using a controlled jab, which is kind of weird, because he's, he's got a, he's the one with the pro right. boxing Absolutely. experience. But yep. his jab is sort of, he's not, he's sort of like stretching it out there, hoping that it lands. He's not really tactically using it, on the, as opposed to the way Alma uses the jab. He's touching, he's, he's kind of fainting with it. He's using it upstairs and downstairs, changing rhythm with it, so you cannot time it. And as you're trying to figure out how to time the jab, he's now bringing right hands behind it in other combinations. <laughs> Trying to pin his opponent see, again, in the corner, see, right? You see how Ward just reaches out with that yes. with that jab. He actually ends up on his front foot when he does it. And, and you know, you don't want to end up on your front foot while you're jabbing. With that, you end up front foot heavy, and that's how you get countered, which Almy ended up doing over the top of it last round. 
which was, I would say, the biggest punch landed by Matt Almy in round number two. But we know that Kendall Ward, the Lion, has a ton of heart. And at the midway point of this fight, he needs to do something to slow down the bare-knuckle debut of Matt Almy. Looks so relaxed in there. And then you see the way con the control from him. You see, he uses that lead hand to control. He's not just flicking out a jab just to flick it. You see, he uses it to, to control. He, he uses it to touch. He uses it to faint. And he uses it to snap the jab as well. So, you know, you, a very educated lead hand on the part of Omni. This is what I, why I'm saying it's very surprising that he, he's not the one with the boxing no, background. He's, he's fighting a very, very disciplined boxing match here inside the Trigon. Loves the culture of martial arts, the high level of combative chess. And so far, everything he told us in the fighter interviews is everything that he is putting on display here in his BYB debut. Even his defensive repertoire, you know, it's easy to look at the attack, but even his defensive repertoire, he parries with his hands, he moves his head, he uses his legs, he blocks, he smothers, he actually uses the entire spectrum of defensive uh, moves. Uh, to defend himself as well. And that's why he's he's got a clean face here in a, in a bare knuckle match, which is not easy to do. He said that he hopes Kendall Ward doesn't hit too hard with respect to Kendall. Matt's done a good job of not getting hit at all. <laughs> Matt's done a good job of not having to find out. You got that right. Ten seconds, round three. Hands up, hands up. 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 Hands Paul, did you catch Matt you looking at his right hand a little bit as he's getting on the stool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a big man. When you, when you land enough, I can tell you from my, my own experience, you land enough of enough shots, your hands start to kill you in this sport. Yeah. He's trying to counterpunch. That's all he's trying to do. He's waiting for you to punch, but he can counterpunch. You see what I'm saying? I need those with feints in there. Start going to the body first, then the head. All right? So body first, then the head. He's got one right under the, yeah, the eye, right body. under Swelling on the left eye of Mom, uh, but all things considered, and considering this is a bare knuckle match where everything can cut you as well, you can relatively clean. Oh, he's got some damage near the eye as well. Yeah, the has got it. I'll tell you, the biggest damage to Mom is probably his hands. Yeah. Keep an eye out, see if he utilizes that right hand with the same aggressiveness that he has through the first three rounds. Round number four. Matt Almy, Gray Trunks, Kendall Ward, representing his home country of Jamaica, red, gold, and green trunks. There's some inside fighting. Ward trying to come in strong. Oh, they finally found out. Yep. Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, you see, you see the tactical part on Almi, and and and, and Ward's got to just jab there. Ward's got to jab there and not get on the front leg when he's jabbing. He's got to break that. He's got to break up that rhythmic stuff by using his own jab, and using his own feints. But you can see how Ward is not really confident in his jab. No, 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 You hear the corner of Kendall Ward saying, you got to throw first. You see, a lot of times Ward ends up getting mesmerized with the head movement and the move and just the movement in general of, of Ami and he ends up watching him. And then as he's watching him, it's, it's, it's Ami, you know, getting off first with the jab and, and you know, jabbing downstairs and just, you know, controlling the tempo. You can't allow yourself, especially if you're behind in the fight, you can't allow yourself to be mesmerized by all the all the fancy stuff that Ami's capable of doing. You've got to get to work. Fight. Oh, he tried that little short uppercut no, on the inside no, there. No, no, no. Yeah, he's not as active with the right hand. Yeah, and, and also to use it on the outside, it hurts more because he's getting more range on it, more leverage on it. So you see what he's doing. You see there, he just touched with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to bother him. 
almost with an with an open hand on the right side. Yeah. So he's, he's again, but he's being very deceptive, and he and he's being very smart here. But by, by be, be his hand hurts, so what he's trying to do is just trying to control the real estate inside the triangle, and you know, try to look more dangerous than he's actually being. And by that way, he can hopefully, he's trying to hopefully control uh, Ward mentally while still using that jab. And that jab has definitively been the difference in this fight. See again, that right hand he threw it open. Palm. Yep. Oh, good jab though. Smile on the face of Matt Olme. Would love to finish this. 30 seconds on the clock. Hey, my time, my time, my time. Open. Neutral corner. Open fingers. Oh, Neutral gave him a warning. He opened oh. fingers. Yeah, I think no it's over him. No more. Yeah. Stay right there. Stay right there. Hey, I told him. I told him. I told him. We can't do it anymore. It was right? like six times. Uh, all right, listen. All right, relax. Okay? I told him it's not going to happen again. The funny thing right? is, I, I think Almi is using his open hand because his hand hurts. He doesn't want to close it. Yeah. But, me, but at the same right, time, go. it could be Ready? poking the, the eyes of Ward. That's yes. why it's illegal, right? So. Yep. I mean, you see it in MMA all the time. You reach out, those fingers land in a bad spot on your opponent. But it, but it is the damage, maybe from the punches that <laughs> have landed on the head of Kendall Ward, that have just taken that right hand away from Matt Almy, who's looking to be aggressive here at the end of this round, Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you, you <laughs> again, I'll tell you from prior experience, man, your hands start to hurt, you actually, your, your output decreases, and you know, you, you start to wonder, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm talking about different ways about controlling stuff. Some warnings given out by Wayne Spinola. Elbow, open hand. Wayne keeping everything inside the rules, inside the trigon. So watch for this one. There's the elbow. Now, Kendall Ward is a Muay Thai master. Some of that is reflex. That said, it's illegal. Yeah, yeah. See again. Hmm. <laughs> some of that is reflex. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, when you when you are when you've done Muay Thai your entire yeah, life, yeah, some of yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, you know. Of course. <laughs> it's it's got to be yep. instinctual. Exactly. But he got caught <laughs> and warned. Fifth and final round. Undoubtedly, Kendall Ward needs to stop here in the fifth to earn his first victory inside the Trigon. It has been all Matt Almy. Oh, Wardy, I'll tell you, credit to Wardy's going for it now. You know, not the same before. Got to go for it. And there's also some good to some respect between both of these guys. There's been some trash yeah, talk and ticky tacky at times. There's the inside fighting that Kevin Ward would like to have more of. Yeah, and I think that's going to be the, the ticket to some success here in the last round. Also, you know, with, with uh, Almy's hands hurting, he may not be able to be as effective on the outside, so what may be able to force his way inside a little bit easier. I think Almy, since we saw the, him wave his, his hand, wiggle it out, you know, shake it out, he's thrown maybe one punch, and that was over the top. Yeah. Other than that, it's been an open hand. Yeah, a couple of slaps. Yep. <laughs> Fortunate for Matt Olme, he's still got a dangerous jab going. Yeah, yeah, and he's just trying to touch. He's, he's, he's thinking about that uppercut. He's not throwing it with the, so much enthusiasm, and that he didn't get the respect of Ward, and Ward was able to get in there and, and fight it back. And now he's looking at the clock. I see him moving on the big screen. His hand is definitely bombing him, right? no question. You never know if it's broken or not, but I tell you what, again, from prior experience, your hands don't have to be broken to be absolutely killing you in pain in this thing. That's a free word. You're landing on shots. Get out. Ooh, big uppercut lands for Kendall Ward. Yeah, and this is where he wants to be, right? This is what yep. he said. He wants to be on the inside, and now he's, again, he's, I think he's getting what he wants. And a lot of that has to do with what I said earlier, that I, I think because of the pain in the hands of Almy, he's not able to be as effective on the outside, so he's, he's limited to fighting on the inside. That uppercut a moment ago from Kendall Ward snapped the head of Matt Almy. But Kendall's behind on the scorecards. And yeah, the Almy's just trying to run out the clock here. I, I agree 100%. Final minute of our opening fight of the night. Work out, work out. Here's a free. From Rock Hill, South oh, Carolina. Got to be careful with those Benoit judges going there. You try to run out the clock. That is true. <laughs> I don't know if he's in the stand. 
That's every judge, isn't it, Paulie? <laughs> True. <laughs> Well, we know Kendall Ward's a gamer. Took some damage early. Took some continued damage as the fight progressed. And that's the thing with thing of some days. I think Ward has to get back to working on in the gym. It's a lot of the setups to his attack. You know, he's enthusiastic about attacking, but he's not really deceptive about attacking. And so uh, he's got to work on some of the deception. Because that is really what was the key to success for Omi, right? And that's what will make you effective. That's the difference between being effective and not being effective. He's got the fighting spirit. I mean, he's, he's never looked like he wanted to quit. He's been in there the whole time. Both guys have, you know, fought their, their butts out. But he just wasn't able to be as effective because he's just not as deceptive. Great debut by Matt Omi. Omi and Ward go the distance. <laughs> What martial arts is all about. They both love the culture of martial arts. Mutual respect after a five round battle. Some of that work yeah. inside. And that right hand, a little bit of a, a slap. Yeah, and you saw he just wasn't as enthusiastic. Here's uh, some of that. Let's see the uppercut here from Ward. Ward was able to get inside, and there it is, a little bit of trying to create space with that uppercut. And with that right hand, Paulie, it's also hard to get the clinch. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? It's hurting. Everything it's already else. hurting. But he came out strong, he came out composed, he came out disciplined, varied the attack, set it up with the jab, and should get his arm raised in victory here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Judges rendering their decision. It is in, and here is Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds inside the mighty Trigon, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. All three judges see the contest 49 to 46, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Matt Almi. Unanimous decision victory for Matt Almi, 49-46 on all three judges' scorecard. Big Mo will visit with the victor.